Hi guys, I'm Sante, we're here in Project Media in Lima and I'm gonna show you how to use the swing and groove pool at Ableton. Okay, so here we have just loaded a little uh, 909 uh, groove, drum machine I mean, and let's put in like a simple, super simple groove, kicks, a little quick clap, some open hi-hats, yes, here we go and some close ones for the off rhythm. Here we, here, there, one here, and let's say one here, there. And now we're gonna play it, it's a super, super simple rhythm, but not groovy and swingy enough. So if you're gonna go here, like to the groove pool, it opens up the whole swing section. And for me, the most important one is the MPC one because this is like the old machine I used to work with and it has exactly the same swings. You can listen to those swings here. And for me, the favorite one is the MPC 1660 swing. And if you put it on here now, listen what's happening to your groove. It st really starts swinging. Without it, super straight, super simple. And now you go back and you hit commit and see what's happening. Those little gaps between all those off, this is how your beat got laid back. And then you can also adjust your clap. You use like the off grid slider and use it a little bit like that. And you feel it already has like a completely different vibe and move. And you can also do like um, the same thing with the hi-hats and go a little bit less. And now you have like a unique swing created for yourself and this is super important for the basis of house and minimal and every groove driven music that you not be super straight on the beat you be a little bit off beat and this is what makes it very special okay guys i hope you enjoyed this little tip i think it's a very important one and try it by yourself get experimental and don't stick to the raster go a little bit off and light. And thanks to Project Media for having me again here in Lima and see you next time when I'm here around.